near the end of the year 2019 in the Journal of Child and Adolescent Psychopharmacology. The study was published titled, Mineral Vitamin Treatment Associated with Remiss Remission in Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Symptoms and Related Problems a one-year naturalistic outcome of a 10-week randomized placebo-controlled trial. One-year follow-up to an original study. Well, what was the original study then? It was published near the end of 2017 in the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, and it is titled, Vitamin and Mineral Treatment Improves Aggression and Emotional Regulation in Children with ADHD, a Fully Blinded Randomized Placebo-Controlled Trial. So what's this vitamin and mineral treatment that's listed in the title of both of these studies? Well, it's daily essential nutrients from Hardy Nutritionals. So, significant findings from the first 10 weeks of the study, just 10 weeks with daily essential nutrients or placebo. Daily essential nutrients improved the intention part of the ADHD diagnostic criteria much better than the placebo group. Now, children with ADHD often have mood dysregulation, conduct problems at school and at home, emotional discontrol. So the researchers also, aside from the core ADHD symptoms, measured those things. And they had parents and teachers, as well as the doctors, rate those outcomes. And daily essential nutrients really knocked this out of the park. And the researchers stated, these measures tapped into behaviors including hot tempers, fights with other children, explosive angry outbursts, and moods changing rapidly for no reason. And twice as many of the children who entered the trial with severe mood dysregulation who got the daily essential nutrients treatment were significantly improved compared to placebo. The clinicians rated the kids on daily essential nutrients significantly more able to function overall in their lives than those taking placebo just after 10 weeks. The kids that stuck with daily essential nutrients also were more likely to have tried multiple medications prior to ever entering the clinical trial. But where did daily essential nutrients outperform the other two groups at 52 weeks? Where are those kids doing better? That's the really exciting findings in my opinion. And this is just clinician and parent ratings this time because a year later, they're not with the same teacher. But the hyperactivity and impulsivity part of the ADHD, core ADHD criteria, was significantly improved in those taking daily essential nutrients over the other two groups this time. So this is really interesting. Maybe the hyperactivity just takes longer to respond than the attention part, which attended, which responded in just 10 weeks. We don't know, but that was significantly improved. Also, the children taking daily essential nutrients were less likely to be anxious. There was less anxiety among them. The clinicians noted and rated less depression in these kids taking daily essential nutrients. And again, their overall ability to function was dramatically improved if they're on daily essential nutrients at 52 weeks compared to medications or no treatment at all. And I'd just like to point out with this one, this is additive. This is the same measure they measured at 10 weeks, but this is additional improvement. This is only measuring from 20 weeks to 52 weeks. That was statistically significant. So what happened is they improved in their overall ability to function for 10, up to 10 weeks, presumably maintained it. Then from 20 weeks to 52 weeks, they improved more than, than that. From that point of improvement, they still improved more to 52 weeks, so that we see ongoing improvement for a year. Side effects were not identified as a barrier to treatment, and this is really unusual with the psychiatric treatment. Indeed, at a one-year follow-up, those who stayed on micronutrients did not report any ongoing problematic side effect. That is really impressive to have this kind of result, these kinds of results from daily essential nutrients and no side effects to report. Not only that, but in contrast to the other, you know, alternatives like medication, for example, the researchers state micronutrient treatments appear to lead to improvements in a number of domains, including the ADHD symptoms, so that's hyperactivity and inattention, but also anxiety and mood. So it's a broader, a more comprehensive effect that leads to just better overall functioning for these kids. 